Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today um, my DIY is rope to rug. This is the products that you will need. I use a liquid nails extreme heavy duty. I picked that up at Lowe's and then I had the jute twine and the three pack from Dollar Tree. The nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, and I used nine of those in the 13 foot. And then the Dollar Tree welcome mat. And I turned this rope into a charming little rug. Next, I Took it outside because I thought it would be a little easier not make such a mess inside. Got my painting board out and put it out. I had already pre-cut the rope. Um, I do not remember what measurements I cut it out to. And that's going to be up to each individual person. As um, it depends how long you would like for it to hang over each side of your rug. So that'll be up to you. You could do it two inches, four inches. I think mine is about two or to about, I would say three inches on each side extra. So then I came upon a dilemma. I started to put my extreme heavy duty on and I didn't have the tool that you use to put it on. So I had to cut it with a butcher knife so I cut it with a butcher knife I got a painter stick out and plopped it all over and this did work well so if you want to do this with the liquid nails you could um, do what I did and cut it with a butcher knife or if you have the right tool to push it out with I'm, that would be a lot easier I'm sure and then I just kept smearing it on and placing the rope as I went along. And as you see, you can see the uh, liquid nails coming through my rope. But that only showed up at that one little area at the bottom a little bit when I was done. The rest dried clear. And this is um, the glue for the wood glue for extreme heat and cold. That's why I chose not to use hot glue because this is for extreme temperatures, the hot and the cold. And I didn't know how the hot glue would um, hold up in the long run. So that is why I use this. I think it was $4 at Lowe's. So I'm just continuing to lay the rope across. Now I'm getting closer to the end of putting the rope down. You do want to be careful. Make sure you get it flat and even as you're putting it across your rug or mat. And here I took my planters and put on top. And I did move them a couple times to make sure it stayed down, which it did. Uh, and there's my little Dollar Tree flamingos. I haven't put any plants in my planters yet. So that's what I planted it down with. Next, we're going to want to take your rope. This is a little tedious. I am not going to lie to you. And on each end of the nautical rope you're going to want to take it apart and you're going to untwist all of it on each individual one so this is tedious i say if you have kids 
and maybe they can help you do it. You just don't want it to go too far down because you, you know, you just want it to be uh, frazzly on the ends. Um, I probably did mine about two inches, three inches, about two inches, three inches on each one. Um, this is uh, a little time consuming. So I'm not going to sit here and say it's quick because as you can see, it takes a little while to get each one done. And I did end up doing it more than that. I was just showing you. Then after I had uh, all my rope down and showed you that, I bring it in. And I took the jute twine to start with and I put it around each um, strand of a nautical rope. Uh... It didn't it wasn't quite as thick as I wanted, so I just took the rest of my nautical rope, and I use a nautical rope, and I did each individual one. You just pull it apart, each one, and then you're going to tie it. And that's up to you how you would like that to look. You go around it two or three times or more. It just depends how you would like it to look. And then you want to get that as straight as possible all the way across your mat or your ropes. You want to get it all the way even, or as close to even as you can. All mine were not perfectly even. So this does take some time as well. So that's the next process. At the, you, could, you could also, as you're doing that, honestly, this was my first time. I didn't have a guide to go by to do this. I just did it out of my, as I was going along, uh, out of my head. So it wasn't like I had a um, plan for this or to go by. So if I had to redo it again, I would not take the rope apart until I had tied them all. It makes it a lot easier to get it clear. And then I brought it outside. Uh, put it in front of my mat to show you and this is how I did the ends. I frazzled them and When I got done, I didn't want them to lay flat. I just thought it was really cute with them fluffed and puffed up So I did that at both ends but as I was saying if you do the um, frazzling the um, taking the jute, uh, nautical rope apart on each end after you tie it up and this is the end of my project my Dollar Tree DIY nautical rope rug I hope you enjoyed this video I thought this was a very cute rug I just think it's super cute and I just love how the ends are thick and fluffy fluffy and I hope you enjoyed this DIY Thank you for watching, and uh, I wanted to say thank you to our new subscribers we um, got today. Thank you so much. Thanks to all our subscribers, and please like, subscribe, and comment below.